Alrighty. Howdy, neighbors, and uh, welcome back to You and Me and Her, a love story. It's very quiet. Load. Yes. So, why did you ask me to stop here? What? Wait, then that means... You wrote those letters, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Is there... No, I can't. Well then, first things first. Let me make this clear. As you may or may not have already heard. Everything that happened yesterday was a total misunderstanding. Shinichi and I are old friends, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing romantic between us. Yeah. It's for the best. Hi. Got it. What is it? Plan A. Friendship mission. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Aoi to Miyuki to Shinichi. Aoi and Miyuki and Shinichi. Tomodachi Naruno. We'll all be friends. Dame? Okay. Yeah, of course I want to be friends. Sure, that sounds nice. Really? Maybe if she had a couple of decent friends to hang around with, she wouldn't act out like this. You'll have to count me out, though. Well, they say men and women can't be friends. But maybe you and Miyuki could. I refuse. I feel that you and I are fundamentally incompatible. Looks like that's a hard no. Still, she's right. I can't imagine the two of them getting along very well. Got it. Plan B. We'll go hold her phone in the air. What the? What exactly did you just do? Photo mission. I'll send this to the whole class. <laughs> Is she blackmailing us? Are you blackmailing us? Is that bad? The look on her face is perfectly innocent. Come on, Miyuki, explain to her. Knock yourself out, Mugawa-san. Are you serious? I mean, it's true Shinichi and I are up here together. Maybe it'll give some people the wrong idea, but I can clear it up for them, no problem. If anything, being friends with someone like you would be way more embarrassing. You know what? Let me say two things. One. Free to try all you like, but unless you make some serious changes, you will never stand a chance of making any friends. Two. Don't call me Miyuki. That's final. With that, Miyuki strides off to the door and down the stairs. Meanwhile, I feel myself unclench. I know she wasn't shouting at me, but still. She's so cool. You are uh, really much the beat of your own drum, huh? Do do. Who tilt her head? She looks confused. 
The regular occurrence for her. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where are you going? Yoshitsu. Classroom. She's seriously intent on showing everyone that photo? Yuki's gonna get mad, you know. Why? She gave me permission. Ugh. She seriously has no clue, does she? Why are you trying to get me and Miyuki together in the first place? The protagonist needs to end up with the main heroine. Wouldn't make sense otherwise. So I will request, will request an update patch. There you go with your dating some nonsense again. I'm gonna go now. Hold it. Do do. Who's expression changes slightly, almost imperceptibly. I don't know what that word is. Meanwhile, I'm a little shocked that I yelled after her just now. Obviously, I don't want her to show that photo to anyone. Not when I'm finally starting to enjoy my life as the class wallflower. If rumors start to spread that a pathetic nobody like me tried to confess my love to the Queen Bee Miyuki, the mere thought has me on edge already. That must be why I yelled after Mugul. To stop that from happening, right? Look, didn't you just ask her to be your friend? Isn't that what you want? Tomodachi? Friend? She tilts her head again, as if to consider the merits of the word. Aoi, honto wa tomodachi? Yoku wakaranai no. Aoi doesn't really understand friends. I think back to her edges book with its single entry. Alright, tell you what. I take my phone out of my pocket. Let's trade email addresses. It's the first step to making friends, cool? Trade email addresses? You ready? How do you do it? Oh, right. Obviously, she's never done this before. First, you open this menu. Okay, now to send me an email. What the? Try to send myself an email using her phone, but it won't send. Do you not have service up here? It's so weird. My phone's getting full bars. Does this mean we can't trade? For some reason, I sense sadness in her blank expression. Thinking quickly, I shoot her a reassuring smile. Don't worry, we could just do it manually. Here. I enter her phone number and email address into my contacts list. Then I show it to her just in case. Is this correct? Mm-hmm. A moment of silence passes as she stares back and forth between our phones. What's wrong? Hi. Got it. She raises her hand. Does this make us friends? Yeah, I'd say so. Since you're oh, since you're in each other's phones, you're pretty much friends. Uh, that's not how that works, by the way. Shinichi and Aoi are friends. Yep, you and I are officially friends now. Friends. Who stares puzzled at the new addition to her address book? A long moment passes. It starts to feel like time has stopped around us. We should head back to class. Uh, Earth to Muguo, you listening? Hi. Got it. Once again, her hand shoots straight up in the air. Now that we're friends, you should call me Aoi. Whoa, whoa, I'm not sure about that. It feels a little too personal, too soon. 
Is that bad? Can't say no to that face. I feel a little awkward to clear my throat. Let's go, Aoi. Sure thing, Shinichi. In the end, Aoi didn't show the photo to anyone that day. You and me and her. A love story. Dots. Gotta love some dots. Different or otherwise. <laughs> I actually don't like different dots. Lying in bed, I stare at my phone. Lonely little Owie. With nary a friend to her name. She doesn't even know what friends are. Maybe this is fate. I'd at least like her to have someone she can chat with at school in the morning. Admittedly, maybe I should just mind my own business, but I can't help myself. Come to think of it, I still haven't received that email I tried to send myself from her phone. I sent a few her way after school, but no dice. In the experiment, I pressed the call button. Damn, no service. She's not picking up. Does her phone really not get any service at all? I can picture her standing up there at the roof over at the stairs. It's painfully ironic that the self-styled transceiver girl is the only one not picking up any signal. Same old classroom, same old chatter, and there sits Aoi. Staring into space at her desk, as per usual. She looks pretty bored. Does she still not have any service? At this point, I'm starting to think maybe her phone is broken. Shinichi! Shinichi! Just a little bit! Shinichi, Shinichi, come here. What do you want? I'm in the middle of. I'm begging you, it's important. Dots. Fine, fine. Reluctantly, I head to my seat. So, what is it? I need some advice. <laughs> Please. What do you have to be worried about? Keep your. Mouth, uh, keep your voice down, big mouth. I can't talk. I can't read. Is that serious? Dude, it's critical. Lives are at stake here. Okay, it's, it's this. Hitoro opens his bag and shows me a pair of panties. Yes, indeed. The very essence of a man's dreams. Dots. An artifact of male ambition. Yes, I get it. Thank you. Did you steal these? How dare you? I found them. You found them? I did. Right outside our front door. What? I found a dream laying right outside our front door. You said there's only four people in your family, right? Forget, did you have an older sister? No. Your sister, maybe? Not a day, so compadre. Okay. What do you have? A dad, a mom, a little brother, and me. Thoughts. Dots. Homie oh, Shinichi, my brother in dreams. What do I do with this artifact? Whatever you want, I guess. I hate. But on the off chance these are my mom's. Oh, my hazard! 
Her dreams are dead. It sucks to be you. Good morning. Good morning. With Miyuki's arrival, the classroom roars to life. She really is the star of the show. Ah, uh, Sone sounds looking lovely as ever this morning. Hitoro gazes at her. And. Oh, enraptured. There we go again. The same scene that plays out every morning. Or so I thought. Hi. Got it. Mikko san. Some Aoi jumps to her feet, hand in the air, her eyes on Miyuki. That's weird. What's going on with her today? Oh god. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. That photo is probably still on Aoi's phone. Do you need for something? Aoi is really sorry. She hangs her head. Yesterday was all my fault. No, oh, right, that. The classmates watch this interaction with mild puzzlement. Sensing their confusion, Miyuki smiles. Don't worry about it, you haven't done anything wrong. Will you forgive me? You don't have to ask forgiveness for something you haven't done, silly. Then Aoi has a favor to ask. Favor? Aoi wants to be friends with Miyuki. Can we? Don't be silly. Miyuki puts on her most dazzling smile. We're in the same class, aren't we? Then we're already the best of friends. Friends? Is that all you needed? Uh, can we trade email address? Sorry, I don't have the time right now. Maybe later. Miyuki quickly ends the conversation, her smile unflinching. Moments later, the classroom is back to normal. Man, I wasn't expecting that at all. Me either. Ara returns to her desk and takes a seat. Her expression is as blank as ever. But her eyes are carefully fixed on the phone in her hands. Thing is, I've known Miyuki for a long time. The dazzling smile of hers? It's completely fake. Miyuki. Miyuki. Gohan, isho. Let's have lunch to get. Gomen nasai. Hoka no tomodachi to yakusoku ga aru no. So I already have plans with some other friends. So no no. Oh. Ato, yobiste ni shinai de kureru to ureshii nda kiredo. Also, I prefer if you didn't refer to me in that way. Got it. Hmm. Miyuki, Tsugaku, Shukudai. Miyuki, about the math homework. There's no point in doing it if you don't figure it out yourself. Letting you see mine won't do you any favors in the long run. Okay. Miyuki, Yasashii no. Miyuki, you're so nice. Just don't expect me to coddle you. Also, could you please stop calling me that? Sorry. <laughs> Miyuki, do you want to team up for the art project? Stop calling me that. Sorry. Anyway, I have a specific friend I always team up with. What about tomorrow? Not tomorrow, not ever. Now go ask someone else. 
<laughs> Miyuki, let's sing out of school. You're doing it again. Sorry. I have rehearsal day, so I don't think I'll have time. Now we can wait. Or else it gets out pretty late. Now we can still wait. We're both gonna hang out with the rest of the theater club afterward. We're friends. So I will wait. <sighs> Suit yourself then. With her baseball bat slung over her shoulder, Miyuki leaves the classroom without a second glance. Oh man, it's raining. I was busy actually doing my homework in the library for a change, so I hadn't noticed until just now. There are no lights in the old gymnasium building, where the theater kids' rehearsals are held. They must have all gone home for the day. Beneath my trusty umbrella, I head out into the chilly autumn rain and make my way to the school gates. Uh. Dots. Just then I spot a lone figure near the campus gate. No umbrella to be seen. Owie. Oh. Dots. Owie stands perfectly still as the rain drenches her from head to toe. She stares out into the empty space, just like she always does in class. She doesn't even blink. Owie! Hey! Owie! Little. Boop boop. Shinichi? Shinichi. How he turns to look at me as I hold my umbrella over her head. You're going to catch a cold out here. Kaze? A cold? You can't just stand out in the rain like that. Huh? Oh. Ame futteru no. You're right, it's raining. Apparently she hadn't noticed. Anyway, we need to get you inside before. Daizobunano. Don't worry. Kaze no event CG. There's no event CG of Aoi getting sick. Oh, right. There's that gamer brain again. Here, just take the umbrella. Are you trying to play Aoi's route? Yes, I am! No, okay? Just take it. I'm way too chicken shit to share an umbrella with a girl. Instead... I take a folding umbrella out of my book bag. See, I have a backup. You shouldn't waste time raising my affection points. I said I'm not. I'm helping you because you're my friend. Friend. Aoi ponders that word for a moment. Then finally she takes the umbrella. Oh. It's dry under here. That's how umbrellas work, genius. Come on, it's not like you've never used an umbrella before. Dots. Oh gosh, she totally hasn't, has she? Oh, got it. Hmm? What's up? In times like this, you say? Thank you. Huh? Did I get it wrong? No, no, you're right. I wasn't expecting her to actually thank me. Again, she apologized to Miyuki for what happened yesterday, so maybe I'm underestimating her. I turn back to face her. You're very welcome. Shinichi, tomodachi na no. Shinichi, if you're my friend. Tomodachi, isho kaeru no. Then friends should walk home together. Dame? Can we? If you told me a week ago that I'd be walking home with the girl in my class, the infamous oddball Aoi, to be exact, I'd have laughed in your face. And yet here I am doing exactly that. You know, friends ought to reply to their emails too, just saying. He wrote me? Called you too. Dots. 
Who quietly takes out of takes her phone out of her pocket. No service. How is that possible when mine has three full bars? I'm standing next to you. Maybe your phone's broken? God's signal doesn't work like the others. It won't pick up without enough battery. Apparently that's her explanation for why God won't answer her calls. It's gotta be broken. You should just buy a new- No. Why not? Does this one have sentimental value or something? Yeah. It's my only way of contacting God. If she goes about God again. So who's this God anyway? A friend of yours? God is just God. Very powerful. God's the person who made Aoi. Oh, I see. Um. Could she be referring to one of her parents? Somehow I doubt it. But we did trade email addresses. Did that make us friends? Yeah, I'd say so. I remember us having this exact conversation the other day. What about Miyuki? We, we haven't traded yet. So we're not friends? Aoi continues to stare blankly out at nothing as the rain pours down. Miyuki knew Aoi would be waiting for her after rehearsal. Did they inadvertently miss each other? Or did Miyuki... Aoi wants to trade with her. Aoi wants to be friends with her. Dots. If only I knew Miyuki's email address. And I could just give it to Aoi myself. But I haven't been that close to with Miyuki for a long, long time. And at this point, I could never hope to be again. All we can do now is pray to God, I guess. Do you live around here? Aoi, ie, nai no. Aoi doesn't live anywhere. What? Asoko ni netomari na no. Oh, he sleeps in there. She points to a building on the outskirts of the shopping district. The city's sole manga cafe. Do you not get along with your family? So na no. Nope. It's not safe to roam the streets alone, you know. Nareta no. Oh, he's used to it. So what? That still doesn't. Pasokon mo game mo aru no. Besides, they have computers and games in there. And yummy snacks. And as much soda as Aoi wants. And no curfew. It's heaven. Dots. I'm totally lost for words. Thank you for the umbrella. Bye bye. Bye bye. No problem. Take care of yourself, alright? Aoi totters into the manga cafe and vanishes from sight. And for me, I stare, I stare absently at her until the patter of the rain it drowns out everything around me. After running away from home, Aoi now lives alone in a manga cafe. God might be real, but there's no way that's heaven. There's just gotta be a happier ending out there for her. Surely God isn't the end all be all. Is there any way I can help her? Miyuki, ohayou na no. Good morning, Miyuki. It's another windy day today. Miyuki. Aoi no gohan, miru? Miyuki, wanna see my lunch? Candy de, shita no iro, kawaru no. This candy makes your tongue turn funny colors. Miyuki, kono game, yaru? Miyuki, wanna play this game with me? 
Miyuki, Isoni Soji. Miyuki, want to clean up together? Miyuki, Isoni Kaeru. Yuki, want to walk home to. Miyuki, Matte. Yuki, wait. Miyuki. Yuki. Miyuki. Miyuki. You and me and her. A love story. <laughs> Not a lot of romance happening. Hey, you Dodo. Wanna grab some lunch? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is happening? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm not hungry. Was <laughs> up the feeling sick? There's a bigger issue. Oh, it's so much bigger than that. Oh wow. Let's go ahead and and save. Pennies. You ate them? No. I don't know who they belong to. You see. I'm not sure I want to know the answer, but who's were they? Yujiro's. That's your brothers? Yeah. Apparently he bought them online. So where? He said it likes to cross dress. Well then, that's some. Dots. Dots. Oh my god. Stop, don't, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> oh my god, that face! <laughs> My dreams, my dreams are dead. This is going to be okay, Captain. I know you'll find a new dream soon enough. Not with that face. Right now, just give yourself some time to grieve. Thank you, Shinichi, thank you. Yutaro nods tearfully. I have no idea what to do about this, so I'll just give him a little pat on the shoulder. As I'm heading back from the cafeteria with my sandwich, I contemplate returning to the classroom. But I can't imagine either of us will enjoy sitting there in silence together. Instead, I head to my favorite spot. Rooftop, baby! Burning now! Huh? The door's already unlocked. Miyuki? It won't be Miyuki, it'll be Aoi. It's perfectly quiet up on the roof. Not a soul to be seen. And she's probably all by herself. Dots. Just as I thought. I turn around to find Aoi standing quietly up on the roof over the stairs. Her eyes are fixed on something beyond the furthest reaches of the sky. Something formless and imperceivable. Maybe she's not looking at anything at all. It's a bright and sunny day. And as I look out at the clear blue autumn sky, I find myself wondering if God might actually answer the phone this time. Coming up there, okay? Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. It's crazy the difference a few extra meters can make. Up here I'm guaranteed with a perfect, unobscured 360-degree view of the entire town. Talk about one hell of a view. 
Of course. How it doesn't take her eyes off the sky for a single moment. This is a special place. The secret spot of the apex of a forbidden land. Yeah, I see why yeah, we might find I uh feel that way. Did you eat lunch? Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice to wear is a plastic to go bag filled with trash. You can smell the faint traces of something glowingly sweet. Like cake or jam. You should try to eat better. Better? You know, something with a balance of nutrients. Is that balanced? Maybe points at the back containing my lunch. Everything inside screams calorie laden carbohydrates. From the yakisoba sub to the croquettes to the curry buns. The thing about my lunch is I've got one of these bad boys. Boop boop. There's a small metal can in front of her. <laughs> Ya Bailey's. Bailey's. Orange, tomato. Ya Bailey's orange? No, tomato juice. That's why I get. This way, I get a serving of veggies too. Problem solved. She stares at it as if it's a relic from Area Fifty One. Three swallows. Oof. Is it yummy? Yep. It's not actually that great. Truth be told, I'm not a big fan of tomato juice. I just maybe accidentally hit the wrong button on the vending machine. Wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Sure. Hell, she can have the rest for all I care. <laughs> just a drink. Oh, she is drinking it all. Drink and drink and drink. <gasps> Whew. You downed it all in one go? Is that bad? No, no, I'm not mad or anything. Do you like it? Yep. It's like curry or taiyaki or melon balls. Somewhere around there. I don't really get the comparison, but okay. I liked it. Oh. Hmm? Was that an indirect kiss? Are you trying to trigger Aoi's route flag? Okay, now you ruined it. You really love video games, don't you? This whole world is a game. Aoi's opinion has nothing to do with it. Alright. Miyuki hates the idea of anyone treating reality like a game. But now we think that they're one and the same. It's only natural they'd never get along. And yet here I am, trying to make it happen anyway. Sorry, Aoi. I'm the one who told you to be friends with her, so it's my fault you got hurt. Aoi got hurt? Aoi tilts her head. What's hurt? Well, it doesn't feel good when Miyuki blows you off every day, right? Don't know. Aoi has a save file. Failure has a save file. Failure has a save file. Any mistakes can be reset. Aoi can just reload as many times as it takes. That's all there is to do. Right? Dots. I'm not sure what to tell her. Turns out she hasn't been enduring the pain. She doesn't feel it to begin with. She tells herself that she can fix her mistakes by starting over, enabling herself to run away from the harsh reality of her actions, letting herself forget. I'm guessing she never once thought critically about it either. Wrong. There's no way to live. She needs stability in her life. She needs friends. Shinichi? Shinichi? Anyway, time to eat, om nom nom. As I take a bite of the croquet, I make my decision. That night, after the sun sets, I leave the house. The wind ruffles my hair as I walk down by the riverside. 
Eventually, I arrive at the old, dilapidated indoor batting cage. I can hear the sharp crack of a bat echoing from inside. The sound is infrequent at best. As expected, there's only one customer inside. Her form is so beautiful, it captivates anyone who sees it. Assuming they aren't distracted by the fluttering of her skirt. At least change out a uniform first. I'm practicing for rehearsal. What? I'm supposed to play softball in a school uniform. Dots. Uh, what kind of play is this supposed to be again? I would make a retort, but the aesthetic of her swing remind or uh, renders me speechless. It's just bewitching. Wanna turn? Pass. You still love it, you know. Yeah, like a million years ago. Hardly. Whatever. I'm not here to play. I'm, I need to talk to you. About Mukoo-san, right? God. Make this woman a psychic. How'd you know? <laughs> it's written all over your face. You wanted someone to make friends with her. As usual, she sees straight through me. Hope knows is trying to beat her on the bush. I should just be honest with her about how I feel. Please, Miyuki. And we need to friend. Please just spend some time with her. Dots. Since when did you start calling her Aoi? Huh? Oh, uh, well... I'm afraid I have to decline. I can't possibly be friends with her. You still upset with the luck mail thing? No. She's been talking to you a lot since then, right? It's extremely annoying. But she's making an effort. Yeah, but she doesn't stop to think about how it makes me feel. I mean, if you were a friend, you could teach her. Just stop. Voice echoes through the building. Do you think it's easy being me? The thing about being popular is that people love to talk. Do you know how many people hate my guts? I've never had I've never been a social butterfly. I had to work hard to fit in at school. Surely you of all people understand that. I remember when we were younger. Back then her natural talents alienated her from everyone else. She stuck out like a sore thumb. So yeah, she didn't turn into Queen Bee by chance. Then there's Mukoo-san, claiming that the world is just a game. Having the time of her life in a little escapist fantasy. The only reason she can't make friends is because she doesn't actually want friends. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions about you. Yuki takes a deep breath like she's trying to calm herself down. Likewise, I'm sorry for shouting at you like that. Nah, I mean it was my fault. I hadn't realized exactly why Miyuki resented Aoi for conflating reality with video games. But Miyuki's been working hard to change herself. She's miserable. Forced to put on an act in front of all of her friends. It's only natural out she finds Aoi infuriating when she dodges any personal responsibility by downplaying her mistakes. It's just the thing is, summoning the last dregs of my courage, I look Miyuki in the eye. That's exactly what I think she needs us. That's exactly why I think she needs us around, you know? She's gonna mess up her life. She stays convinced that she sweep all of her mistakes under the rug. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. 
But maybe if we're there for her, we can help her start taking life more seriously. Maybe she just needs a little push. That's why I want to help her take the first step. I really haven't changed a bit. Huh? Where did that come from? Fine, I give up. Mixed expression tells me she resigned herself to her fate. You have a reasonable point, so I guess I'll help you out. Really awesome, thank you. But let me say this. For a fraction of a second, Yuki looks away. She's got an ulterior motive. Yeah. How he doesn't want Oh, doesn't just want to make friends with us. Our real goal is blatantly obvious. To be a third wheel that brings me and Miyuki together. Personally, I don't want to let myself get any closer to Miyuki. We'll both just get hurt, I know that. But all I want is for her to have a taste of what it's like to have real friends for once. This is all for her sake, isn't it? For some reason, Miyuki seems a little sad. I was just imagining it. I'll give it my best shot. I really appreciate it. In exchange, will you help me with something too? Miyuki grabs her baseball bat, leaning against the wall. These baseball skills landed me the leading role in the upcoming performance. And there's going to be former graduates coming to see it and everything. This might be my big break. Girl, it's a school play, okay? <laughs> like, let's, let's, be, let's be honest here. Uh, as someone who was a theater kid, it, you're not... This isn't gonna help you. I'll tell you that right now. Wow. Aren't you even a little happy for me? I am. Fingers crossed that everything works out. After all, the more distance between us, the better. I put on what I hope is a convincing smile. That said, I absolutely cannot afford to make a fool of myself up there on stage. For sure. I can't afford to embarrass myself. Mm-hmm. I can't afford to disgrace myself. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get that part. And? Dots. Dots. Hello? Anybody in there? Dots. Never mind. What was that? Yeah, so she was talking. It's all for her sake. And then, got a leading role, I made fun of her. And then she said, I can't make a fool, I can't embarrass myself, I can't disgrace myself. And she did dots. Is anybody in there? No. How the fuck? Okay. Wait, what? I changed my mind. About? I should just figure something out on my own. After all that, are you seriously gonna leave me hanging? Deal with it. You really enjoy digging, your, digging me around, don't you? Well, it's just... It's my problem to handle. There she goes again. 
It's when I finally get a chance to speak to her alone. Her bad habits stop crawling back out of the woodwork. You sure you got it all under control? Positive. Yuki shoots me a determined look, and I heave a sigh. Right, well, I know you're not a little kid anymore, but you tend to pile your plate a little too high, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Huh? You put too much effort into your classroom act, too. It's like you have a slip personality. Sometimes I get the sense you're killing yourself over it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Not true. If so, nah, uh, yeah, huh? The tension breaks and Miku laughs. God, it feels just like old times. D does it? At the end of the day, I can't erase our history together. Well, if you ever need me, you know where to find me. I'm happy to help. Not like I've got anything else going on. Loser. Shut up, try hard. Yuki grabs her bat and puts another coin in the machine. Thanks. She keeps her back turned to me as she speaks. Then she heads for the batter's box. There's just something about you that really makes me believe in you. Baseball rockets off into the night sky and disappears from sight. For the briefest of moments, it feels like the ball might tear through the fabric of the universe to whatever lies beyond. You and me and her. A love story. Oh, I love this man. I need to talk to you about my dreams. Yudaro drops this on me the second I walk in the door. What about your dreams died or something? The moment a dream- uh, the moment a man worries that his dream is dead is when you know it's the real deal. Uh, the right, I'll take your word for it. Kanjiro! Look inside my heart. No can do. So what's up? It's about the dream I found outside. It's where there's a blue striped panties, right? I had a whole conversation with Ryujiro after that. And as it turns out, he's a cross player, whatever that means. Oh, I I know what that means. Okay. So he likes to cosplay in women's clothes. Apparently, they call it an otokonoko or fem femboy, something like that. A uh, bright. I'll take your word for it. Kanjiro! Look inside your heart. Real talk, I don't really get it. Anyway, what should I do? Do about what part? I've never seen Yutaro look so conflicted about something before. Let out a sigh. What is that you want to do? I'm a He's got a job as a magazine model, and he actually really pulls off the look. Though he's not so much sexy as cutesy. It's just kind of weird, don't you think? I mean, it's something there in common. A lie. Like, I want to support his life choices and all. Like, I want to support his life choices and all. I try to stay woke, you know? But when it's your family, it's just... It's hard to accept right away. Man, I feel so stupid. I don't understand the first thing about him. Thoreau struggles to find the words. Before you ask, yes, he's always this intense. It's just how he is. Um... 
I wouldn't tear your hair out about it if I were you, personally. He said it to himself for over ten years, right? You've had, like, a day. Of course you're going to... Of course you're not going to understand right away. Put it another way. I you need it the whole time? So, You think so? Ohayo. Good morning. Miyuki, ohayo. Good morning, Miyuki. Nice weather today. Poor Mugoro, Sony, Sony san won't give her the light of day. At this point, it's getting kind of hard to watch. You never know, today might be different. Different how? Say, Mugoro san, did you happen to finish your math homework? Homework? From math class, yes. Not yet. You're not busy at lunch, right? Why don't we go over it together? Boop boop. How he freezes in place, as though time itself has come to a stop. Yes or no? Got it, let's do it. Please tutor me. Just an FYI, I won't let you copy my papers. Hi. Got it. Just like that, I feel the mood of the classroom shift. Until now, Miyuki has been blowing Aoi off left and right, and everyone else just went along with it. But now that Miyuki's changed her tone, it's possible that the rest of the class will too. So so that I said the answer was right in front of me all along. What's up, Yutaro? People can reach an understanding as long as they try. Isn't that right, Shinichi? Sure, that's one way to look at it, I think. You just need to give it 110%. If I'm going to understand how Ryujiro feels, then that means I too need to start prostrate. Yeah, good luck with that. He got- he has the right spirit. Just so poorly executed. At lunch. Nice and warm outside. I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-
Dots. She reaches the top, Mugi is immediately captivated by the view. Not that I blame her. It's not even my first time seeing it, and it still takes my breath away. Pretty cool, huh? It's not like anything I've ever seen before. This is a special place. I'm sorry, I need to apologize for making fun of you. When was that? Classic Aoi. I was hungry, time to eat. Hmm, good call. Clearly, there is no time to be lost in thought. We start to unpack our meals. Show time. Hold it. What, pray tell, is that? Koala Munch! Oh, I think I've had that before. And that? Plenty ear tarts. And that? Mushroom monsters. Want a bit of a chocolate cake, are you? What about you? Who, me? Let's see here. I have a potato, sa potato salad sandwich, jumbo croquette, and candy yams. It's too much potato. You're not wrong, but I can't help it though. Potatoes are the best. How he really likes chocolate. You ought to eat in moderation, though. Don't worry. Yabatoma. <laughs> I always got your Baileys. Tomato juice. Tomato juice. Problem solved. The sight of those things together is making my stomach turn. Yuki, do you want some? No, thank you. But tell me, though. It'll make you zappy and recharge your batteries. I said no thank you. Besides, I have my own perfectly good lunch right here, see? I forgot to read there for a second. Yuki opens the lid of her box lunch to reveal. Whoa. Octopus hot dogs. Apple rabbits. She's the ultimate childhood friend. Me, who cries in Duncan Rampa. Please, this is what a normal lunch looks like. You two need to shape up. You made the whole thing yourself, didn't you? Of course. Boop boop, Miyuki's food is all so cute. So, what's wrong with putting cute stuff in my food? Yuki's cheeks flush pink. Dots. Dots. What's with you two? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not used to being called cute, are you? Maybe, maybe, but it's your fault for it. Yuki's cute when she's embarrassed. Stop making fun of me. Oh, she's angry. Okay, now you're pushing it. My bad. Let's take it, everyone. Sounds good. Yay, food. <laughs> Boo -boo. What's wrong, Allie? That's weird. It tastes different. Is it past it's the expiration date or something? No. It tastes better this time. But that doesn't make any... It does, it just does. I always tone it surprisingly firm. Probably because you're eating it with your friends. Plural? Love you, no, I never agreed to that. Yeah. 
How he looks down slowly. Man. Just when I thought things were actually going well, too. Come on, Ryuki. Fine, whatever. Ryuki shifts uncomfortably. I guess. I mean, the view. I mean, the view up here is really something special. Maybe it adds a little something to the food, you know? Really? Just a little. What about you, Shinichi? Great A, delicious. Admittedly, things are still a bit awkward. I think it's too early to call this friendship. But this is the first step, and for our it's a big one. You and me and her. A love story. You and me and Dupree. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna end there for today. I like at least for this episode.